Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here to introduce you to my newest NXT drone, which is here and it can be controlled by both program and remote control. However, the remote control I'm talking about is just a USB cable attached to this computer because the computer didn't have a proper Bluetooth device to control this NXT. Drone. Okay, anyways, as you can see, there is a toy gun attached to this robot and this toy gun goes with the batteries here. It's an actual electric toy gun, and uh, the rest is just uh, parts of the NXT LEGO programs. And uh, as you can see, this robot is being controlled by three motors. First here, second here, and the third one is here. Okay, I'm gonna describe you how it's working. Okay, the first and the second motor, which is called B and C. The B and C motors are going to help the robot to move forward, backward, rotate, left and right and the, and the motor attached to the gun, as you can see, is actually pulling the trigger the trigger is attached to this touch sensor here the touch sensor controls the pressure on the trigger because this toy gun is made of plastic and uh, too much pressure on the trigger might break it and also, the other thing this uh, sensor doing here is to control the firing mode like semi-fire and automatic fire Soon you will see how it works. And let's get to the other sensors. There's a sound sensor and a light sensor and the ultrasound sensor attached on the barrel. Okay. The idea of using this sort of skate key or skateboard on the robot and not using some sort of hair wheel is because using this uh, sort of things makes the robot move faster and also rotate better, especially in going backwards. And I'm gonna show you how it's working. First, by using the remote control mode, and then we're going to see how the robot works by just using the programs downloaded on the NXT here. Okay, I'm going to put the cover here to prevent the battery from falling down during the operation. And I have to admit, it's a really hard work using only one hand to control the camera and the second hand holding the entire project. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. And then I'm going to sit backward and use the laptop here to see how is this remote control thing working. Okay, first we're going to check how the robot moves forward and backward. We're taking to right, to left, and now you can see what's the role of this skateboard. As you can see, the robot when it's rotating in by by moving forward is kind of slower than moving than while it's moving backward. You're gonna see how what I mean exactly. And now we want to see how the robot moves and rotates while it's going backwards. As you can see, the robot can completely rotate while moving backward and forward easily by using this skateboard attachment. Okay, there's a target here, an object, which is my target, and we're going to see how the robot shoots at it. But I have to mention that the robot is actually not on here. There's another magazine that can be found. And then I'm going to say, first, we're going to check everything on arm. But by pressing the space key here, I'm controlling the third motor, which is controlling the trigger. So first we're going to see the robot fires in semi-mode, semi like semi-fire mode. As you can see, I'm tapping to the space button to simulate some sort of semi-firing mode. But the result is the burst firing mode, which means actually by hand I cannot control the trigger to fire in semi-automatic mode instead of fully automatic or, or burst mode. So we're going to use the sensor to see how sensor is going to help us to make the robot fire in semi-automatic mode. Basically I'm going to forget about the remote control and I'm going to use a program which I have made to show how exactly this robot can use its touch sensor to fire in semi-mode, semi-automatic mode. Okay. 
as you can see, by using the program, the robot is more accurate and much more better performance than the time I'm using the remote control. So that should that actually exactly shows the difference between the hand controlled robot and the program robot, program control robot. So now we're going to see what else this robot can do. I'm going to attach the magazine, which is loaded with ammo. And actually, I have to mention this is just a market. This is no real ammo, and the real ammo is here. As you can see, it's just six millimeter bullets, which is just made of plastic and has no actually arm on any objects. It's not going to even penetrate this box here. Okay, let's see. Okay, time to test the robot with the codes. We have two codes here, blue code and red code. Red code means full engagement and blue code means semi-engagement. First we're going to test this blue code here. I have to hold the blue code for 3 seconds in front of the light sensor and then it scans what you have. As you can see, it always scans for the object and once it's located, it starts firing at it by using semi mode. In the same method we had before, like. As you can see, the trigger starts pulling back to touch this touch sensor here, then it goes forward again, then backward. It goes through the trigger to use semi automatic firing mode and then it starts shooting at the object. But as you can see, it's not even damaged, not even for one person, because it's just actually a toy gun, which has no really serious damage. And now we're going to test the full automatic mode. I'm going to change over to its, same, its old position, and then we're going to start it again by holding the red code for 3 seconds in front of the light sensor. It starts scanning for the object, locate it. This is the full engagement. First, it scans for the object, then it starts moving at the object and uh, keeping the firing mode on it until the object is completely knocked down by the muzzle. It's like it's doing two sorts two of attacks. One is like just firing at the suppressing it, then once it's closed, it starts to smash it to the ground. Then, after the object is removed from its way, the program ends. Well, this is all I could show you today and I hope you have enjoyed this robot, this little NXT drone which may be the future paint robot of the Terminator robot. Goodbye.